Hello everybody, how's everybody doing today, and how's everybody doing on this 4th of, 4th of July, Saturday? And today I uh, went to the flea market, did some garage sale hunting, and I found actually three sealed boxes of these. But sadly the guy pulled the shrink wrap off the one, because he didn't know it was in the box. He had some other product too, but a little pricey. This stuff wasn't too bad, so I bought all three boxes. But since this one had the seal busted, we're going to open it for you guys, and we'll see what we can pull. I know uh, this set has the Ichiro Rookie and um, the Pujols Rookie. And supposedly there's one, one autograph or relic per box. As you can see here, here's the odds. Pretty cool little box. So I guess maybe the guy didn't think there was many packs in it. So he let me have it for a cheaper price. Because the bigger boxes, he wanted like triple the price. I'm like, no, not for like, he had like 94 upper deck and 2002 upper deck. But these I thought were kind of cool. So let's see what we get in here. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find some cool goodies inside. Never seen these before, and hopefully they're not bricked up. So here we go. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Neat little wrapper there. Okay, let's see. They're a little bricked, but not too bad. So let's see. We got Arminus Ramirez. I guess that's how you say it. Oh, Kerry Wood. That's a nice one. Very cool. Nice little design here. That's a nice color to it. Simple. Nothing crazy. And Doug Menkowitz, I guess you say. And Sean Green. Very cool. And, oh, there we go. Frank Thomas. That's a nice one. And the corners seem pretty good on them. So they didn't really get shifted around in the box. Very nice. That was probably, oh, God, it's 12th to 13th season. The Big Hurt. So now we'll see what we get in this one. Oh, oh look, he must have opened one to see what was inside. Of the game. Yep, one pack was opened. Alrighty, get a little squeezy there. So we got Matt, Matt Luton. There we go. And Raphael Furcal. And let's see, we got Juan Olrud. John Olrud. Okay, I know of him. I've definitely seen him play before in the past. Oh, I like that one. That one's cool. Preston Wilson and Lance Berkman. Okay, so luckily there was no insert in there. It was taken out. Yep, looks like it was one pack that was opened up. So, let's see. Oop, might have the hit on the bottom. Let's see, Barry Zito. Or it could be an insert because there's plenty of inserts in this set. Ooh, Mike Piazza. Nice. There we go. I think that was his second year on the Mets. Yep, very nice. We we'll put that up there. Good old Frank Thomas, Ben Grieve, and let's see, Ronald Ryan Clasco. Another, another very familiar name. Let's see. Oh, this is cool. Chipper Jones and Wilson Bateman building blocks. Very cool. Not numbered. Just has a. Just has the regular number on it. Very cool. Put that in the insert pile. <clears throat> and well, it looks like you ripped open another pack. Hopefully there's not too many packs in there that have been opened up. Let's see. Sealed, sealed, sealed. Okay, good. We hope they didn't find the insert and pull it out. So that would kind <clears> of <throat> kill this kill this opening. Oh, Jeff Bagwell. Very nice. Carlos Delgado. Nice. Rich or area. And of course the R2 boxes were completely shrink wrapped with the upper deck logos on them. So I knew they were completely unchecked. Oh, Kajiro Suzuki. Nice. Just trying to figure out how to tell the, the okay, so that's a rookie. Okay, because they said the last so many cards in the set will be rookies. Oh. Christian Guzman. Because I looked on the checklist. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> These are upside down. Interesting. Or at least that one is. Oh, well, that means it's an insert. Brian Giles. Very nice. And the Pirates. Oh, Sammy Sosa. There we go. That's a nice one. Good old Swam and Sammy. Tony Cork. And Barry Orkin. Very cool. And let's see. Luis Gonzalez. No numbers or anything. They're not short prints or anything. So I know they started doing this. Short prints around the late 90s, early 2000s. Actually, let's see if we can get one of these wrappers to open up without ripping it. 
so I can save one of the wrappers. Ooh, it's nice. Pedro Martinez. Very cool. Andrew Jones. Great player. He was definitely part of the, the good 90s Braves. Rafael Pomero. There you go. A little, little sticky, but nothing crazy. Pat Burrell. And we got Jeff Jenkins. And there we go. Pedro Martinez. Very nice. Very cool. Third year. Awesome. And let's see getting this one. And this is actually going to be one of the first times I've actually opened a, uh, a decent box on here. Not a standard 90s, 80s, 90s junk wax era. Because normally I've only been finding the junk wax stuff. Finally found something a little better to open up. Jim Edmonds. Oop, think that one might have something. Yep. Yep, I think that's got the hit. Hmm. Alrighty, let's see what we get. We got Jim Edmonds. Can't do this without getting them stuck together. Uh, and is that Knight? Knight? How do you say it? Perez? Don't want to butcher his name. Knifey? Knight Knifey Perez? Then we got Phil, Phil Nevin, and I'm thinking, let me see, yep, Ooh, that one looks like that's the, let's do the Scott Rowan, there we go, and let's see who we got, looks like it's a Cardinal, oh nice, okay, ooh, Cardinals, okay, it could be, was Mark McGuire, I think, on, the, on that time, no, oh nice, very cool, Jim Edmonds specialty jersey, very nice, cool. And you can definitely tell it's one of the early ones because see it's got like the raised. That's when we're first start, starting to figure out how to put the the game used material before they came out with the thicker cards. That is cool. Not numbered, but definitely an awesome little hit there. Put that over there. I believe that is our one in twenty four box hit. So, but we can still get some nice rookies and subsets. Ooh, look at that. We got a Griffey on the back. Very nice. Let's see. We got Ooh, Jermaine Dye. Definitely enjoyed watching him play. He was good. Mike Hampton. Brad Ranke. I guess Radke. Sorry. Shannon Stewart. Very cool. And good old Griffey. Nice. And Adam Dunn. Very nice. That was when he went to the Reds. Of course, there's good old Griffey on the front. Duh. I forgot what year he went to the Reds. There we go. Oop. Okay, I thought that one might have another hit in it. Darren Erstad. The Angels. Matt Lawton. Lawton. Don't remember him too much, and I did watch a lot of the Mets then. Raphael Furkel. And Ben Sheets. Okay. Sounds a little familiar. And Carl Everett. Cool. It would be nice if we find each row. That would be cool. Things like a world tour set and stuff they put in here. There we go. And pop that over. Ooh, Gary Sheffield. That's a nice one. Definitely a great player. Oh, right behind it. Nice. Clemens when he went to the Yankees. Very nice. Awesome. So someday he'll get in the hole just because of the juicing thing they're gonna they're gonna make them sweat it out you know roberto alomar very cool that one jeff kent i remember him too nice and wade miller wow this whole entire pack that was decent very cool let's see okay it's just copyright info and all the little websites and stuff sometimes they have little neat offers on the back oh nice tino sweet you know, Jason Kendall. Oh, and today also I picked up a couple of neat things. Picked up a uh, 9091 basketball set from uh, one garage sale. And the same guy had a uh, 91, yeah, 8990 and 9091 Fleer basketball sets. He also had a big stack of uh, 52 Bowman the President cards. So I bought those too. They were when he was a little kid. So it's kind of neat to have something that somebody personally had. They're in beautiful condition. Probably sixes, sevens, if you had to grade them. And, of course, the basketball stuff was all mint. He bought that from a local local card shop near him back when they came out. So we got Jason Kindle. 
Ooh, Fred McGriff, the crime dog. Very nice. Ooh, Edgar Martinez. Nice. I believe that's one of his early cards. Yep. Third year. Very nice. Ooh, there we go. Barry Bonds. Very nice. And Tino Martinez. Another very good pack. Awesome. This set is definitely, definitely a very nice set. Oop, is that who I think it is? Oh, we got John Allred. Nice. Let's see. Oh, A-Rod. Nice. When he was still with the Rangers. I think his rookie was, what, 96 or 97? Was it 94 or 98? I don't think these are full stats, though. Mm -hmm. So that was the first year he was at the Rangers. Oh, nice. Griffey. Sweet. There we go. That's always no upper deck for the kid. He made upper deck. Everybody chasing his rookie in 89. Charles Johnson. Richard Adele. And upper deck was a little hard to get in 89. Not many of the stores had him. Even the local uh, card shop by me, Baseball Card Kingdom, rarely ever had him in. We got Allred. Very nice. Oh, they always had a lot of... Usually whenever they got the new stuff in, it was gone really quick. All the kids would buy it up. That was a nice little comic shop, though, in Lake Hiawatha, New Jersey. That was a... It had comics, and, and right across, of course, you had a... Later on, you had Funny Books, which is still there today, which does uh, comic books and a little bit of cards. We got Randy Johnson. Awesome. Got Guzman. And... Carlos Delgado. Oh, Preston Wilson. And Lance Berkman. Okay, where are you, Ichiro? I know you're hiding in here somewhere. Let's find the two biggies. Pretty much found all the big Hall of Famers so far. Bobby Higginson. Ooh, Jason Giambi. Nice. I forgot that he used to play for the A's. So used to know him as a Yankee. Scott Rowland. Oh, ooh, see, speaking of another one that became a great Yankee, C.C. Sabatha. And I think this is his rookie. Look at that. Nice. C.C. Sabatha rookie. Very nice. And Jose Vidro. Sadly, don't, don't know of him, so maybe he never, maybe he never really got far. No, he played for the Expos for a while. Just don't remember him much. And getting down about a little more than halfway done. Oh, there we go. Mark McGuire. Nice. That's all I was hoping it would have been a uh, insert, but definitely not going to complain. No more uh, Garcepara. Garcia, I forgot how to say his name. Oh, there we go. Speaking of great Yankees, there we go. We got Jeter, the captain. Awesome. This is definitely one of his earlier cards so i think his official official rookie was what 90 96 and his prospect card was 93 very nice chipper jones nice another good one and jim tomey nice okay and i know i still got all these goodies in the background to open up picked up a couple prime packs today too I figure I'm going to try a football one, but I saw a uh, baseball one with a Series 2, it looks like, is in it. So that should be fun. Carlos Lee. And the football one actually has an 84 card in it. So that should be interesting to open. Mike Sweeney. Okay, definitely a familiar name. Tim Hudson. Nice. Oh, Vladdy. Oh, nice. Vladdy Sr. Cool. What do I call him? The Vladdy Daddy. Very cool. Oh, nice Vernon Wells and Carlos Delgado. Very cool. Another insert. Cool. I think we're gonna see on. Uh, we're gonna see another insert that we haven't seen yet come out of here from a different set. I don't want to damage them. Now, these are not exactly easy to come by, especially sealed. Didn't see many online. Troy Glaus. Larry Walker. That's a nice one. Kevin Brown, Jimmy Rollins. Well, definitely some really nice looking, uh, nice looking art. I like how it extends the 
photograph extends past the line art JD Drew. Don't think that's his rookie. Nope. And okay, where are you, Ichiro? Now okay. oh, you're hiding in here somewhere. Oh, I think we got a different insert we haven't seen yet. Greg Vaughn. Very nice. Sean Casey. Oh, there we go. Bernie Williams. Very nice. I think his rookie is what, 91, 92? I believe. Very nice. I think his rookie was Bowman. Oh, Juan gone. Very nice. Awesome. Yep. Oh, we got a numbered card. Very nice. Now, I know it, I know it's a high number, but back in the back in those days, you got anything under 5,000 was always considered a hard to find one. So we're going to put that in a good one. That's that's Isaac Sneed. Cool. So we got our first numbered card out of here. Ooh, I see a Jeff Bagwell. Very cool. We'll bring him to the front since we kind of saw him already. Very nice. Bagwell and Iceberg. And there's our Knifel Perez. Oh, Phil Nevin. Very cool. And Ben Sheets. Carl Everett. Very nice. And they seem a little thicker than your normal. Because they were it was a premium product. I would guess probably back then these were $3.99 a pack. Because usually the smaller boxes had the really good premium premium product. Oh, Kurt Schilling. Very nice. Great, great pitcher. And let's see. That one's a tough one. Maguio Ordinez. Oh, Al Leiter. Yeah. I remember when he was the big rookie of 88. When he was with the Yankees. Then he didn't pan out too well, I guess. He played good, but Ivan Rodriguez. Very nice. Don't think that's his rookie. Oh, there we go. Tony Gwynn. Another great Hall of Famer. I'll put him up. Good one. So we are down to our final. Looks like maybe four packs left. And that will uh, that will end this. I guess we can call this a, not really a flashback Friday, but I guess it's like a, I guess a little blast in the past bonus. Ooh, uh oh, I don't think that one's got an insert because it's a little wonky there. Darren Erstrad and Charles Johnson, very cool. I like the older, the older Marlins, Marlins jerseys. Richard Helgado. Oh wow, is that? Whoa, look at that! Nice. Got a Roger Clemens jersey, sweet Yankees, and when he was start out with the Sox in '85. Let's oh, and a CC Sabatha, Sabathia, very nice. Two of those. Let's have a peek at this one. Wow, that's a nice one. Dual jersey, sweet. Wow, that is really nice. Okay, I got a pinstripe. Wow, that is cool. That would be cool if it had a little red on it for the. Like the made O in Boston. That is really nice. I would say that's definitely the big hit of the box. So we got two. You're only supposed to get one per box, but definitely not going to complain. That is awesome sauce. Oh, look at that. We got Ichiro. Nice. Nice. There we go. Paul Mondesi. Awesome. Cliff Floyd. Nice. Jeremy Burnitz, I remember him. Oh, there we go, Manny, nice. Wow, did, did we get what I think we got? Okay, we got Manny and we got Ichiro back to back. Nice. Ichiro World Tour subset. Very cool. I remember when he came up to the majors, he was like, that was like everybody was talking about him. Like, oh, all the great players are coming from Japan. And Ichiro was definitely one of the best. There we go. Greg Maddox, very nice. Ooh, and a Ripken. Awesome. Man, Iron Man. Todd Helton. Okay, definitely remember him. Oh, oh wow, another one? Wow. Look at that. We got a Juan Gone bat and a Manny Ramirez bat. Wow. Three? And let's do that one real quick. Carl Everett. Guess, okay. 
three unique memorabilia inserts each inserted. So this will be our third hit. Very nice. Okay, I misunderstood. I thought there's three different styles, and they got one per box. So you get three per box. Very cool. This is actually a really nice product. And I believe there are autographs as well. Oh, and our last pack is going to spawn another Ichiro. The World Tour. Oh, an A-Rod. Very nice way to start the last pack. And it's all stuck there. Not too bad. Oh, and a Griffey. Nice. Let's put A-Rod up there. And Randy Johnson. Very nice. And Aaron Sale. Aaron Sale. Sally, I guess. Sale. And we're going to end this one with a nice Ichiro World Tour. Very cool. I really like this set. That was a very nice box. So I, I'm guessing because it says you get the three unique. If you see there, it says the three, three unique. So I guess you get three per box. Definitely not going to complain. All great players that were pulled. And as usual, if you're new, feel free to hit the subscribe and toss a comment. Let me know what you thought of this set because this is the first time I ever heard of this set or seen it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And and uh, hit the bell so you know we got more of these because you never know when we're going to run into something. We're always on the hunt for stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. And have a great 4th of July and great weekend. Bye-bye.